We're down here at Blue Marlin Beach Club with Tom Pepe. You've just done a phenomenal eight-hour set. Is that almost <laughs> unheard of? <laughs> eight, well... Thank God it's during the day and on the beach. Yeah, well, exactly, exactly. If, I'm a bit tired, it? so it was really, it <laughs> was really good. Yeah, time. well, it was really good. I mean, you know, it was uh, eight hours, uh, so I got to kind of move across a huge kind of genre selection, and yeah, it was good fun. Really it's going to be rocky. I think it must be one of their busiest Saturdays, and you know, it's, you it's been. I, mean, I play. Been yeah, no, I play. I play every, here every Saturday, so. Yeah. Um, and it's been my best Saturday by far, by far. It's never been this packed and people haven't been up for dancing as much as <laughs> they were today. So it was good. I had some, some people that started the party though, kind of jumping up and down, getting people to dance though. So it's good fun. Great. You always, you always, yeah, you're, well, you always need a kind of a little igniter to, to get the party going here. So I was lucky enough to have that today. <laughs> Years old, you turned 16 a couple of months Feb ago. February. In February. Mm -hmm. How do you? Most of the people out there are old enough to be your parents that have been dancing to your music today. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but how do you know so much about old school house? I mean, you were really. Well, I've I've lived I've lived here for seven years. Yes. So, um, so I, I've you know I've just experienced I've experienced old school house. You know, so many people have just been saying, "Oh, listen to that album. Listen to this album. Listen to that album. Listen okay. to that." Like Vaughan gave me the the the, the, the funky the, the funky room thing, um, which which I listened to religiously. Um, you know, my you uncle, care? my uncle, my uncle was a DJ, Daniel, and he yeah, yeah Dan, my, my my uncle Dan Pepe, who was a resident of Manu Mission, right, um, and he's he's given me loads of music which I listen to, and um, also you know, as I said to you before, with the opening of Mambo. Um, you know, watching people in Mambo and the, the Christian and Alan going on, oh yeah, this is one that you should have in your record collection. Get that. Stuff like that. So. Um, who's been a big influence? Who have been big influences? Andy, Andy Baxter, for yeah. one. Yeah, he's helped helped me a huge deal, like just a huge amount. He's pointed me into the direction of really good music. He's, you know, he's he's all, you know, he's. I'm always chatting with him. You know, he's a mate of mine as well. So um, it's it's you know, he's kind of like a DJ mentor for me. And then um, Lenny Bizarre, who's teaching me how to produce music, um, and. Yeah, I mean, there's, then there's been loads of, like, Mark Broadbent from okay. Relove. Yeah. He's, he's helped me out with, like, the more... He's kind of kept me in touch with the, um, with the British side of, of dance music, you know, with uh, all the big electro guys, which is, you know, also kind of... I, which I like as well, so... I think, I think so many people my age, they... Like, because I see myself as... as um, because I was into music... Like before, before, before electronic music. Before I got into electronic music, I, you know, I played guitar, I played drums. Um, I'm teaching myself to play piano now. So I see myself as a musician before a DJ, before a producer. And I think a lot of people resort to DJing when they 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 think that when they find that music is um, is when they find that. An, doing an actual music, playing a musical instrument is too hard for them. So, but because because at the end of the day, learning to mix two records isn't a really hard thing to do. But then there's talent behind being able to to do it well. You get music, you understand music. Yeah, no, well, that's, well, no, I'm not saying I do personally, but I think that lots of people resort to do, to DJing because they can't do the other thing. But I think the, 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 the best thing, that it's really hard to put this in words, um, I think I think the best DJs and the reason they're the best DJs is because they incorporate real music with DJing, and that's where 
good DJs come from, in, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. <laughs>